welcome back to Master the Fun and today we're in Elder Scrolls Online doing a quick review guide for the upcoming event, the Jester's Festival event, 25 March to April 1st, 10 a.m. start and finish. And as you saw there, as my sniper was loudly eating the Pie of Misrule, which you can get after you do the starting quest. You'll get that memento, which you can put in your quick slot bar and eat it for the 100% XP bonus every two hours. So that is yummy. <laughs> as far as what the event will have, it has three tickets per day per account. You can get the tickets and the Jester's Festival reward boxes for turning in quests as follows. You'll get three tickets for doing any one of those quests from the Jester NPCs. And also the first time you do the first quest, you'll get the stupendous Jester's Festival reward box. The rest of the missions, which I believe are six now, because of three new ones, which I'll talk to you about also. Also the contents of the festival boxes. Um, They'll, you'll continue to get boxes, but they won't be the stupendous version. They'll be just the normal version, which just mean less chance for the special fragments, which we'll also be talking about. So like I mentioned, you get 100% XP bonus for two hours for eating that pie. So in the background, I'll be running the uh, locations of the tents. As you can see, we're in vocal guard here. If you head towards the the normal, let's say now normal me, event NPC, which is for the tickets, etc. As you can see here, the Jester's Tent will be a separate location in, in the three alliances. And in this place, you'll go west of the, of the tent there. The, let's say the Ticket's Tent here will be the Jester's Tent in purple and white as usual. And you'll see the um, the jesters and a whole bunch of people as usual when the event actually is live. And we'll be heading over to the Ebonheart Pact sector now so you can see where that is. Do you know how long I've been looking for you? So here it's a bit outside the city. We'll be showing you that on the map in a moment. There it is, south of the city, across the river of Mournhold in the Ebonhard Pact area. So we'll just run back up a bit to the north, and as you can see here, there it is. As far as the new event quests, the first one is called A Foe Mo Most Poor Scene, and you can get that from any of the three festival tents in any of the three areas which when you do the quest it will guide you to the hammer death arena which you'll need to go to for the second quest or mission and that one is called the king's spoils and that is actually given at hammer death arena and then the third one is called pranksters carnival and apparently there's only one location to be able to get this quest and that will be in Stone Falls at the Jester's Tent which we were just showing you. Now here in the Daggerfall area we're <laughs> and uh, for this location, for this tent, we'll have to go to the east of the city. There's actually two way shrines you can use to get to this Jester's Tent. One is even further east of the, of the tent, and it might be a little easier because it's outside the city, so you don't have to go through all that labyrinth. I'll show you once she gets there. As you can see here in the background, this is the Scorcher skin, which we will now be able to finally get. We will be able to transform the unstable Morpholith pet, and we'll get the skin because the third of the three is going to be offered in this event. The Rune Scribe Daedra Hide, the Rune Scribe Daedra Sleeve, and now in this event, finally the Rune Scribe Daedra Veil. So you just right click it from your collections menu, and voila, it should transform. I don't know what it looks like yet because the event didn't, didn't um, 
hasn't started yet at the time of this recording. So we'll see what the animation is for the actual transformation of the of that uh, Pokemon ball into the uh, you know it probably just goes into your collections and then you can access it. Now, as far as the um, the second, third, and fourth, if I've heard correctly, the second is a pet, the third is a mount, and the fourth is a house. So. Don't quote me on the second one. I, I don't remember correctly now. I'll have to dig for the information because it wasn't given. Uh, now it was in one of the streams, and that's like, you know, a two-hour listen. But, yeah, I, I believe it's a pet. Anyway, so we're here now in the Daggerfall Jester's tent area. And as you can see there on the map, on the far right, there's another one, another way shrine, which might be easier to, to use to get to the tent. It's a lot less you know, running around the city and trying to find the exit there to the east. Yeah. So as far as the uh, the boxes, what do they have? Fragments of two mementos, the festive, no festive noisemaker and the Jester's Festi Festival Joke Popper, which I actually have a video on from last year so you can see that in more detail if you like. I should have a link below if I remember to put it there. Cadwell's Kitchen Arms style pages, the Sovereign So pet fragments, the new Regal Regalia outfit style pages, the new fragments of Playful Prankster Surprise Box Memento, which you can see there behind the words, which is like a jack in the box, I reckon, and Jokey Steelies, which is basically just vendor rubbish that you can sell to the vendors, and ruined boxes with cherry blossom branch or jester's scintillator mementos so as i've mentioned before the first time you complete the daily quest each day you'll get the stupendous jester's box which have a higher chance for the fragments of these items and then the subsequent quests that you do from the jesters you'll get just the regular jester's box which have less of a chance and the other stuff you know like furnishing items and the typical items they drop okay there's also a couple of uh, achievements that you'll be able to see there from your events uh, in the in the tab in the menu you'll see the events and you can check out what the new achievements are one of them if you complete them all you'll get the you'll get a hat i believe it's the jester's hat which i do believe i have and can be shown here. So appreciate everybody coming by to our little guide event review for the Jester's Festival event. It's a silly event, isn't it? So um, feel free to leave a like, subscribe. It's free to do so for both, as usual. Enjoy the moment, and as always, have fun. Cheers. Bye. Bye.